What? Oh my god. Um. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Uh. Um. Whoa. Whoa. Boys, what is going on lads and welcome back to another player review. So today we've got middle icon Essien. Thank you EA, they decided to go ahead and give me him in my icon pack, my middle icon pack. And I could not be happier lads. He is an absolute unit, all the icons in my squad are from icon packs. And like I said, I could not be happier with my luck this year. But boys, we packed him earlier on. We've played 14 games already with him, 13 of which have been in Foot Champions, and we just played one game with him now in Division Rivals. We're playing him in a 5-3-2 as a CDM, or a middle centre mid on stay back, and he's gotten one goal and three assists, which, you know, is actually a, quite a good uh, goal assist return, considering he is a CDM. But lads, this card, I can say right now, is insane. This review's a little bit different. I'm doing the intro, and we've actually just done a review on the new Future Stars, Mark Kukurala. So we are going to get that out, but we also have got lots of SEN clips from those couple games there. So what we're going to do, I have all of the clips already pre-recorded, so I'm going to do this little intro about this card, and then obviously I'll show you guys all of the clips with his middle icon. Now one thing I can say boys is yes, like his base icon, but probably all, you guys are all thinking it right now, his base icon is going for much more. His base icon is roughly 1.2 million coins, and his middle icon is roughly 660,000 coins. So maybe like, why is this card five, five and a half hundred thousand coins, almost 600,000 coins less? And the reason is because his base has got that more pace. His pace has got, or his base has got six more pace, but also his base does have seven more stamina and one more strength. So people want that extra 7 stamina and they want that extra pace. It also does have that extra 5 balance as well. But I did review his base card at the beginning of the game for in an dr online draft. And obviously I've been using this card in my main team. What I can say is his base card was faster. His base card did feel better on the ball due to that extra 5 balance and the base card did have better stamina. But what I also can say is his middle card, his 83 stamina seems to handle completely fine. And when I've been using this middle card, the things I can notice, he may not be as fast, he may not have as much balance, but passing wise and defending and physical wise he is much better compared to his base. Like honestly boys, it is such an upgrade. Going from his base card with 83 short passing and 79 to 90 short passing and 86. It's really just that stamina on the middle card. I'm not going to say it's bad, but obviously it gets there now and again. It's definitely not as noticeable as you would think, but maybe around the 75th minute, 80th minute, it will start going into the dark orange when, any, when everyone else's stamina is in the dark green. So that is one thing to take note of, but still... Um, I mean, it's kind of obvious his base card is considered more meta, but personally, I, I mean, either Essien, I don't care, base or mid, they're both insane. They've got the Essien build, and at the same at the same time, they've both got the work crates, they've both got very similar stats. Like I said, boys, all I can say is I am loving using this card. I put a tweet out earlier saying that he was my MVP for this weekend league. We ended up stopping at 14 wins, I believe 14 and 3 or something like that, and Essien was the leader of the midfield. This card was absolutely freaking insane, boys. I, I, I can't explain it enough. He is everywhere. He's like an N'Golo Kante, but on steroids. He is freaking insane. Lads, let's get into the clips from a couple of games we just played with uh, during that Mark Kukrala review. I don't know, but let's get into the clips. Go on, you see it, you absolute unit. Putra, up to Essien. Essien, time back for Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. Go on, son. Cristiano Ronaldo. Over the top. Oh, it's Mikhail Essien. His first goal for the club. You love to see it. We've absolutely robbed that with Butragueno. You love to see it, man. Essien. I got him from my mid-icon pack. A mid-Essien review will be out um, soon as well, lads. Uh, you know what? I might use this clip in that Essien review as, as well as the uh, Cucurella review. So, beautiful goal. I mean, beautiful positioning. He's a CDM running forward to get that. Go 
one. Mark once again. Nice one, two of Essien. I feel like Mark and Essien work very good in the uh, midfield. Oh, Mark does get tackled. Now, I can't lie. He was a little bit slow there. A little bit slow with that drag back. boys hopefully you did enjoy those clips and he did actually pick up his first goal that game you could see i was very happy and the reason i'm so happy that it was essien is because he i just love this card probably like looking at my team you'd expect me to say ronaldo bruno fernandez team of year or team of year kimmich are my favorites this weekend my favorite card to use was michael essien or michael essien Honestly, he was insane. As I said in the intro, he was just everywhere. He really dominated that midfield. And like I said, the reason I was so happy that he did score is just because he deserved it. And he deserved it. He's a club hero. And I feel like I'm going to be using this card all the way up until team of the season. I absolutely love this card. Now, if you were to compare him to his base card, do I think his base card is better? Yes, I do think his base card is better, but I do not think his base card is 600,000 coins more better. So I feel like his middle icon is much better value, but the actual better card is going to be his base just because he's got that, um, what's it called? He's got the extra balance, the five extra balance, the seven extra stamina, and the six extra pace. Those are three stats that are huge, but like I said, other than that, this card's got the extra weak foot. He's obviously got better shooting. He's got better passing. He's got better, uh, dis disregarding balance. He's got better ball control, um, and he's got better defending, and the physical is around the same. So boys, I would say his base card is better, but this card is just, I feel like, edges it when it comes to value because 600,000 coins for this card is insane or 650,000 coins for this card is absolutely phenomenal. Lads, I can't, it's so hard to put into words how much I love this card. Um, I actually put a tweet out which would pop up on screen right now, why not? Um, and it was a picture of everything and you can actually see me saying it was probably what around seven hours ago now I'm not sure how long ago it was but I just said M Michael Essien was without a doubt my MVP my most valuable player he really gelled everything together now starting off with his pros and cons obviously at the end screen you'll see the all over the whole overview and all that but I am going to say right now is he contributes so much going forward but going back as well with the high high work rates and his incredible passing the link up between Essien and Bruno Fernandez or team of year Kimmich during foot champions was sensational like Essien because I have Bruno Fernandes as a centre mid on stay forward and free roam I had Essien pinging the balls down to him and then Bruno would be starting to create that chance so Essien offers so much going forward with his phenomenal uh, work rates and his phenomenal passing but also just he is everywhere defensively like like I said, he really does feel like a Kante, just a lot better. And obviously, he's he's a lot taller, a lot taller. He's like five inches taller as well. So, SCN boys, what I would do is, without a doubt, if you've got him in your mid-icon pack and you're here from that, GG's, because trust me, try him in-game. He is freaking insane. But if you are thinking of buying him, or if maybe if you're comparing him to his base and you're like, do I buy his base icon? Do I buy his middle icon? What I would do is I would buy his middle icon and spend that 600,000 coins in other areas. Like I said, I feel like his base icon is a better card just because it fits for meta much more. But I do think this is much better value. I don't think his base icon, his base icon was phenomenal and this card was also phenomenal. But I just don't think it's a 600,000 difference uh phenomenal if you know what i mean so i do think this is a bit of value one because at the end of the day you're still getting essien and like i said he offers so much to the game so boys for the rating out of 10 considering he's 650k how how he's been playing for me all of that good stuff we're going to give him a solid 8.5 out of 10 obviously with his icons we can't give the ratings too high because you have to keep in mind they are quite damn expensive like 650k not much people do have that, that amount of coins but lads an eight and a half out of 10 for Essien, absolutely phenomenal card, and I would highly recommend getting him in your squad. Like I said, if you were lucky enough to get him in your icon pack, G freaking G because he is sensational. So, being your boy Davis, if this video did help you out in any way, then make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And um, some people with my reviews, obviously, I try to play two to three games. Uh, sometimes I can only play one because I can't find matches in Oceana very early on in the morning. They get mad saying, oh, but you've only played one game. How can you tell? Well, I played 14 full games, 13 in champs, one in rivals, and I can indeed confirm this card is cracked.
been your boy Davis, and until next time, lads, I'll see you later.